Some weeks ago, I sold my Tormek T4 wet grinder. The reason why I sold it was because the wheel at 200mm in diameter was a little too small in my opinion. Uh, so for the grinding I was doing, I thought it might be a good idea to go to a 250mm diameter instead. So of course I looked into Tormek T8 the big brother for, for the T4. I just thought that the T8 was a little too expensive and because it came in a set and some of the jigs that were in a set I already had from, from when I worked on my T4. So it did not make sense to buy them again. I could of course just sell them. But um, I thought it might be a good idea anyway to take a look at the market and see if there was another wet grinder that could actually fulfill my needs. So I bought a JET, JSSG10, and I uh, went for this one because it's this JET uh, wet grinder here has very speed on the motor. So it can actually go from 90 RPM to 150 RPM, and that's actually pretty good when you consider the wearing out of the wheel so it the diameter will get smaller and then you need a higher speed of the wheel to keep same velocity on the on the grinder surface after unboxing and mounting of the grinder wheel i put on some grinder paste to the scrubbing wheel uh, i will put on some oil later so the surface of the scrubbing wheel will uh, last longer a funny detail though is the scale. When you look at the scale for the wearing of the, the wheel, you can see that what's supposed to be 200 in diameter is at scale 175. So I wonder why I put the scale on when it doesn't match the reality. Okay. Another detail that could be better is when you look at the nut for the RPM uh, it's a little arrow pointing to which RPM you actually are running, but it's actually pretty hard to see. So with a little painting, it should be possible to make a mark so it will be easier to see where you are at the scale. Another little detail is on the Warner container where you have a hook that has to grip a hole behind the, the grinder wheel. You can see it's bending a little and it's hard to catch the hole behind the grinder wheel. To straighten it a little I put in some scrap wood. So and then I will use my heater to heat up the plastic so it will actually have a new form. <laughs> That's it. Let's try to mount it and see if it actually got better. And it seemed to be better. That's perfect. Another little detail I think that could be a good idea is to mount some small magnets in the bottom of the water container to collect all the metal that will of course get grinded off when you, you are sharpening your tools. So that's it, ready to go. Together with a jet grinder, I also bought a horizontal base from the Tormek 
and I also bought a universal support with micro adjustment also for, for Tormek. The horizontal base is uh, not great for the old Tormek T7. And the reason is because I have a jig for white, white tools. Um, it's for tools like you have a blade on, for instance, a wooden planner. In my case, I have a tool that is 310 millimeter in width. Okay, let's take it for a spin. And let's try mount the universal mount or support from Jet. And as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. And of course, we need the hand, small hand bolts here to secure the support. And then I found out that the universal support from Tormek actually also fitted. So they have the same size and the same distance between the holes. And that meant that now I could actually have both the support for my grinding wheel, but also at the same time as support for my scrubbing wheel. So that's actually pretty, pretty good. A small annoying thing is when you have used your scrubbing wheel and you want to turn off the grinder, you have to reach over on the other side and try to figure out where's the bottom. A solution to this could be mount an extra little on off switch. And I have this one here from an old project. So I think I'll try and figure out how to mount this so I can reach the, the switch from both sides of the grinder. But that must be another day. So I also happen to have the scrubbing wheel for special tool. This is also from Tomic. And it's special if you have some spindle gouts or bolt gouts or you have some, some special uh, formed chisels that might be uh, U formed or maybe angle formed. Uh, so this is actually a, a pretty, a pretty good little tool. So the scrubbing ring just fitted directly on the jet as well. So that's just good. Now it's time for some oil for the scrubbing wheels and the oil is to protect the wheel so it will last longer. And then when it has been oiled, I will put on some more paste. Now I think it's time to do some grinding tests. Uh, first of course you have to give the stone some water and I will just let it run for a moment so it can soak water into the stone. And I think to my first test here I will actually try it on a bowl gauge. The bolt gauge is um, with uh, some burlap steel. So I will use one of the Tormek jigs, special made for this kind of, uh, of steel. And this jig is actually pretty fine. It's uh, I used a lot of time on my T4 and I think it's a pretty good tool they have, have made Tormik. So in order to use this tool, you have to start on this little uh, table here. And I want to go for number two, and that's 45 degrees. So what you do is actually first you set the distance to the stone. Oops, it fell on the floor. <laughs> um, and you use these two small wheels to see if you have actually aligned it on the stone. 
so it will always be aligned for the stone depending on which diameter it has and then you tighten it up and then you have the length must be of course correct and that can be set on this little uh, tool as well and when you have done that you put it on and then you check that you actually are on the right height and in this case I can see it has been set up for another angle it was not 45 degrees so we have to change it so it will be a little steeper and you can see it has to be in a number two so it's just click it in place and hit the right position and tighten it up again and then you're good to go and now it hits spot on so let's start the grinder and do some grinding That's actually pretty good. It's sharp, so let's scrub it a little. And just do it by hand. Should be okay. First, the outside. Take the burr, and then I can finish doing the burr inside on the small grinding wheel oh sorry the small uh, scrubbing wheel and it's pretty good it's really sharp that's good all in all I'm pretty okay with my jet I'm pretty satisfied I'm not sure the T8 from Tomek would have done it better so but all in all I think I'm satisfied so thank you for watching and have a nice day